As you can see, I'm wearing gloves this year, so I don't leave any fingerprints so you don't know it was me. All right, who missed me? Hands up, raise them up. Tonight on Punk, we're back. I was talking to you, I think you wanted me for Tom Cruise. Pro skater Bucky Lasik gets an indecent proposal. Oh, what a sharp oh, Tom, are you okay? He offered me money. Nelly Furtado discovers a suspicious package. Oh, no. My, my black bear is in there. And hero star Hayden Panettiere gets caught up in a domestic dispute. You obviously have issues. Use your little star dad if you try to everybody you want to. It's all next on Punked. I'm just winding back the clock. We're going to the 80s. To the late 80s, mid to late 80s. We're gonna talk about a film that I wasn't old enough to watch. This movie featured a woman that I'm familiar with that goes by the name of Demi Moore. This movie was called Indecent Proposal. I don't really know what it was about because my parents wouldn't let me watch because I wasn't old enough. I think it was like the guy, the not so smart bartender from Cheers. He was married to my wife. I think like the guy from Butch Casting the Sunday It's Kid want to have sex with my wife. Who doesn't? <laughs> and then like he paid a lot of money for it. And then the guy from Cheers got really mad at my wife. And then I thought, hey, I would pay a lot of money to sleep with my wife. No. That's not, no, I thought, I was like, hey, I wonder how much Tom Cruise would pay to sleep with Bucky Lastic's wife. Uh-oh. Tom Cruise. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sit back, Top Gun fans. Tom Cruise is not on the show. But I got a guy whose name is Tom that looks just like him, and he goes, <laughs> and that guy is gonna pay money to sleep with Bucky Lassick's wife. <laughs> and Bucky Lassick's gonna get pissed. Tom McKenna will be not playing Tom Cruise. Sharon will be not playing Tom Cruise's assistant. Jennifer, Bucky's wife, is the accomplice. What if Tom Cruise was offering cash to sleep with your wife? What would you do? That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great. Huh? Why would I stay here? Did you see? Is that him in there? Yeah, yeah, right there. I was talking to you, and I just didn't want to meet with Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's not every day you see Tom Cruise walk by. No one likes him right now, anyway. <laughs> Except for you, Starstruck. Maybe a little. Maybe a little. He's looking over here. <laughs> Maybe he recognizes you from the back. He's totally staring at you. He's got a great smile. I like that. <laughs> it could be just me, but every time I look over, he's looking over again. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> Here you go, the coffee beef. And this is actually compliments from Mr. Cruz. Oh, really? Hello, Tom, thank you. If you need anything, just let me know. Thank you. See, maybe he does know who you are. I'm gonna go pee again real quick. I'll be right back. I 
What's your name? Bucky. Bucky? Classic. That's I'm, my wife right there. Alright, I'm Greg. How you doing, Greg? Head of security. Hang tight a second. Sharon, this is Bucky. Hi. Hi. How can I help you? Uh, this is my wife right there. You're not just friends? No. Okay. If you don't mind just giving her a second. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Is everything okay with, with that table over there? Yeah, look, like this. Did you see that? Whoa, whoa, Greg. Is everything okay? What's going on here? She just spilled water on Tom. Ugh, oh, what a He's a jerk. Is everything all right? Is there a problem? Oh. Is everything all right here? What a creep. Tom, are you okay? I'm okay. I don't want any arguments tonight. I'm pretty concerned about the tip that Mr. Cruz is gonna give me. Let me go find out what's going on. What happened? Babe, he was, he, he offered me money. And that's Cruz right there? Yeah, totally. Pompous. Excuse me. I think it's only appropriate that you go and apologize to Tom, guys. I don't think so. Uh, no. You don't think so? You don't think what she did to him was inappropriate? Not from the story that I heard. Well, that's interesting because what I heard is that she threw water in his face when he was being very, very kind to her. He's a major film star. I don't care who he is. I, I don't know He's a pig, honey. exactly what happened. He's a pig. My wife's 100% honest. I'm going to believe her over what uh, Mr. Movie Star says. Don't come over here trying to play uh, catch up with me, okay? I'm not trying to patch okay. those up with you. I'm trying to get your friend here to patch it up with Tom. Well, that's up to her, okay? You seem to have a lot of control over her. No, I have no control over her. Really? I guess you don't because she didn't reveal that she was married. Oh, really? Really? We're here for our anniversary. Oh, congratulations. This guy, you just got punked. <laughs> I like sh shaking. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bucky and my wife Jen, and she just punked my ass hard. <laughs> Next guess, I know intimately. I'll admit it. Uh, we made out once <laughs> while horseback riding. I've known Nelly Fatata for going on six years. Now she's known as the promiscuous girl. When I knew her, she was known as a nun. Because all I got was a kiss. And I put in work, son. I broke out the limos. I broke out the fat wad. I'm like a bird. I flew away. Because I want more than a kiss when we're on, out. I, we were out horseback riding. We went to the nice restaurant. I was definitely in the triple figures and I got a kiss. That's some messed up. I ain't even down with it like that. Nelly, you're getting pumped. Nelly Furtado thinks she's coming to the studio for an interview. In the middle of the interview, the bomb squad's gonna get a call that there's a suspicious package in the building that they need to check out. <laughs> I said package. Ben Morrison will be playing the bomb squad leader. Did I just say bomb? We got the guy in the padded bomb suit. He looks like a robot. Hello. Her manager, Chris Smith, is the accomplice. Cher will be playing the reporter. Luis will be playing an innocent bystander. Nelly, you could have stopped all of this six years ago. If you would have detonated my package years ago, I wouldn't have to be detonating yours now. I now present you with Nelly Furtado in The Package. Yeah, they're here. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm Sharon. We're gonna let them settle in a little bit and then we'll let you guys know. Well, I'm gonna talk more about the music. We'll talk a little bit about Teen Choice, but we're actually gonna have people there covering Where's Teen her bag? Is that, is, is that it? Black yeah. Chanel, there it is. Cue it. We're going, it's going guys, go, go. go. My first recording session was when I was 16 years old. Let's go, come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go, everybody out. Police department, hey, I need you guys all to come on out of here now. Let's go. What is going on? This is America. 
there was a suspicious package in there. We got a suspicious package at the building. Suspicious package right. in building. What's going on? You know what's going on here? Um, they found a suspicious package in the building. A package of what? They don't know yet. Hey, Sarge, real quick. Dimensionally, how large is this package? <laughs> Uh, well, we got called in. It's about 14 inches. <laughs> I guess there must be a lot of packages in the living, right? There's a suspicious, suspicious package. And what does suspicious mean? Um, you guys are all U.S. citizens, correct? Well, we can deal with that identification I'm not there. Canadian. The four of us are Canadian. You all have identification on you? I've got my passport, yeah. My can purse I is in there. Your purse is in there. Mm -hmm. Anyone else here verify the fact that you are who you say you are? Canadian? And I'm just a Spanish. This is gonna come right in. So ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, hey, we're good. We're good. We're good? Go. What they find, Chris? I guess we got the device. They're gonna go ahead and bring it out. Is that the device? Yeah, black handbag. That's what we saw. Oh, is that device? It looks, it looks a, like a purse. A black purse, a handbag. All right, everyone, I'm going to need you to step back a little bit. Please step back a little bit. That's my Chanel purse. Chanel <laughs> purse. <laughs> Does anybody recognize that bag? It's a small black purse. Is I that think anyone? She had it. You had that one. No, my please. purse is a black leather Chanel bag with a and that, silver and that's black. That's the one we just put in there, ma'am. That, that's your device? Yeah, you came with that. Man, please come here. You have to understand, in a situation such as this, we evac the entire area, and any bags that are found lying around become a part of the problem. Blow yeah, blow it, blow it. Blow it. Blow it. Blow it. Blow it. All right, Sarge, stand by. Blow it, blow it now, blow it now. I have a question. Blow it all. I have a question. Blow it all. Blow it now, blow, 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 blow. 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 My, my black bear, my, my, I never get tired of seeing that. I bought that purse and I, I was gonna give it to my mother. So basically you're telling me that because we had a situation right there and you couldn't keep your bag with you, we just detonated a Blackberry. All right, we're good. That's great, guys. We just managed to stop a very harmful Blackberry. A what? It was her purse. My passport was in there too. And when the police officers were telling you there was a bomb threat, you figured leaving your bag was a good idea. There's a reason we're a lot more secure than your countrymen. You guys are taking this way too far, this Homeland Damn. Security bull Excuse me, come here, come here, because you're making the situation a lot worse than it I is. I think that you're making it you way worse than it is. Excuse me? Excuse stop, me? Stop, stop, stop. All right, now what was in the bag? A Blackberry passport in my wallet and photos of my beautiful three-year-old daughter. How would your beautiful three-year-old daughter feel about you just leaving bags everywhere? Horrible. <laughs> it's actually your bag. No, they didn't. No, it is actually your bag. Well, my bag. Go, look, it's your bag, look. No, they didn't. No, I swear to God, it no, is your you're bag. Lying. No, I'm serious. You're lying now. I'm not lying. <gasps> oh my is God. Is that your bag? It's a little <laughs> dusty. We'll, I'll clean that off for you. Hello. I got one. I did. Thanks, Ashton. <laughs> Hey, Pantieri, you may know her from Heroes, where she plays a superhero. I think I have a superpower, but I only recently acquired it, and it's this ring. This ring holds the power in which man becomes twice as attractive as he was before. Suddenly, women you never ever could have possibly had in your life are interested in you. So I have a superpower that I don't even want. Hayden's mom is the accomplice, Ben is playing the married man. Sharon is playing the wife, and the precious child is Arthur. If the ring makes you twice as good looking, I wonder how good looking you get when you have a kid. I'm extremely sorry for interrupting you. We saw you come in, and uh, my son is a gigantic fan of Heroes. He's, it's like his Aww. favorite show, yeah. What's your name? Arthur. Yeah. Arthur. 
Can I um I get one shot yeah, with you? Definitely. Okay, say heroic. Really? May I get a, a, a shot with uh, with you and me? Would that yeah. be cool? Um, Are you gonna take it? Yes. Um, all right. <laughs> Every time, like, do they give you a script and you're like, oh, how am I gonna die in this episode? Because um, each one. Pretty much, pretty much. It's, really... it's, it's, I've, I've died a couple times each episode, and uh -huh. uh, I'm gonna put the you're gonna camera. Go, are you gonna go put that? Yeah. Go put that by the table. Okay. The idea that, like, it can just make people have superpowers and kind of discover their own inner strength, you know what I'm saying? Because I really believe oh, in that. Why did you leave this? And in fact, the, the heroic nature of, of what you Hi. do. Hi. Hi. Oh, this, this is my, this is my wife. I'm Hayden. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. We just said she, uh, you know, the, the show, the, the, the hero show, she's like, she's the hero. She's the hero of the show. Kind of left me sitting there by myself at the table tonight, sweetie. I know. I'm sorry. We, because we, I just popped my head through, and he's such a fan. Was saying, but he's can never we? Never seen the show. He's seen the show. Why are you flirting with people? <laughs> I'm not. Just talking what? about. Hello. No, we're Hi. talking about. Hi, I'm Hayden's mom. Nice I'm to meet you. This... I'm Ben's wife, and I'm Arthur's mom. What's um, going on? She thought. I was just talking about how much I love. He was just talking to me about yeah. the show. It was, yeah. it was nothing. It's, yeah, it's and like, he just kind of left coolest. me at the table by myself for a good half hour. He's been here for like two minutes. Oh, Hi. yeah, I was talking about the show. Wink, wink. No. Excuse me. Are you kidding? I'm um, 17 years old. Well, you look like you're like 28. What? No. I think I know when someone's hitting on my husband. No. No. Excuse Sharon. me? Sharon. How many inappropriate things did he say to you tonight? Nothing. I'm sure you said several inappropriate things to her, Ben. No, I talked about the content of character and the fact that anyone can be a hero. This is like the fifth time you've done this, Ben, when we're out with our son. And it really hurts my feelings, ben. I think you're... Wait, honey, can we just... I'm so sorry about this. Can you say, say goodbye? He's, he's so excited to meet you. I'm very, very sorry. Honey! I want to know exactly what my husband said to you and what you said to my husband. You know what? I think you need to go. Am I talking to you? I don't think I am. Excuse I think me, I'm talking to you. Don't talk to her like that. You're hitting on my husband. Hitting on your husband? Mm -hmm. Are you insane? Have you lost it? Do not come sit down at the table and talk to my mother like that while we were trying to enjoy a dinner. Your husband was the one who came in here, gave me pleasant comments about the show. A show that my son has wrong. never seen. Yeah, well, you're unbelievable to support this. I don't know I'm what you're doing with this. It. I'm not lady. supporting it, but what I don't support is that kind of behavior. It's really not your problem. It's actually your problem. It's my problem that your husband walked in here, gave me a compliment, and you're freaking out about it. That's my problem. Yeah. yeah so you obviously, you obviously have issues with <laughs> yeah. Well, your you know whole what? Situation, yeah. But that's not. That has nothing to do with that me. Is that will do with me. You should all start sad. It's to try to <laughs> everybody you <gasps> want to. Exactly. Why don't you watch what your daughter does? Because you clearly, know what? This, this is so agenda. beneath. This is so beneath us. I'm sorry. Oh, you are you need unbelievable. To go.